Uh, ready. Hi, I'm Jim Haler. I'm product manager for Yamaha Drums for the United States. Welcome to NAM 2014. First thing we're going to talk about is probably the most exciting launch that we've done since recording custom is our new Absolute Hybrid Maple Kit. The kit is uh, essentially what we've done is we've morphed the uh, hybrid shell technology down from our PHX into the Absolute series. So what hybrid means is that our shell is made of two different kinds of woods. The toms, snare drums and four toms, are all uh, seven ply, so it's three plies of maple, one ply of African wenge in the center, and three more plies of maple. What the wenge does is it vibrates at a high rate and energizes that maple, pulls out a little more low end, richens up the mid range, and gives a little tweak on the high end frequency as well. So you get a wider dynamic range, you get a wider tonal characteristic than a straight maple shell. The bass drum, it's a nine ply shell, so it's four, one, and four. For bearing edges, what we did is we cut 45 top and bottom on all the toms, snares, and floor toms, but with the bass drum, through experimentation, we found that the PHX 60 degree edge worked better on the bass drum. So everything we did with the, with the development of this drum set was built basically from the sound up. So every feature, we looked for the best sounding drum set, and then we worked from there. We streamlined our yes bracket, so it's got a smaller metal plate, and we covered it with this composite plate to help mask it, so you see more of the of the hand painted, hand buffed lacquer finish. Um, and we went with our hook lug, so it's a very small footprint on the shell removal. This is the lug that was developed from our, for our PHX series. And there again, by blind testing prototypes with a, with artists from all over the world, we just discovered that this lug sounded best on this. Then what the other thing we did is. We've worked a couple things over from the live custom kit. We've got the new Q-type uh, piston drive snare strainer. We've got the lower mass, lower profile bass drum mount. We've got the new design bass drum spurs that's actually the same leg right and left. So for the touring musician that needs to carry spurs with them on the road, it's not a matter of right hand, left hand. Throw a couple of spurs in your travel bag and you go. We have 10 finishes available and uh, they're all on display here. This is what we call our Red Autumn. Uh, one of the other interesting things we did since we're at this particular kit is we're also um, looking at kind of the new wave of what we call the hybrid kit concept, where a lot of drummers in live situations are triggering their drum set to an extent. So you're working in a small room, it's not big enough to mic the kit, but from triggering the bass drum and snare drum, fattens up the sound a little bit, deepens the groove, makes for a little tighter rhythm section and then you just have to run a couple of lines out to the board. So we're triggering the kick and snare with our DTX 502 module. And then we've also expanded a little bit, run off our DTX M12, added a couple of pads to the kit, and uh, expanded the whole thing. And that really expands your horizons as a drummer and makes you a little more complete member of the band. So we're, we're, we're really kind of riding that because Yamaha, really, we're the only company that's doing top shelf acoustic and electronic drums. So they really kind of fit together seamlessly.